Hey folks, old Dan with you again. Man, today I stood in wonder, in amazement. You see, it was a day to take my son to get a haircut. Have mercy. You see, I've been going to the same barber for the last 20 plus years. My hair is, you know, almost non-existent anyway, but... I, all they do to mine is buzz it with a, they put a one and a half attachment on that blade and just buzz my whole head. She charges me five dollars. Five dollars. That's it. I love my haircutting lady. She's great. And, you know, that's why I've been with her for 20 years. But today I took my son to get his haircut. Oh, my word, $25. That's a two and a five for a boy's haircut. When I was a kid, my daddy took me to Speedy the Barber, Mr. Speed, but uh, we called him Speedy. And I think he charged, I think he charged two and a half or two dollars to get to cut hair. And it was a, it was a boy's haircut, just like the one that Jordan got today. And... Every now and then, Daddy would need a haircut, and so instead of paying two dollars, yeah, that was just too much for his blood. That's too rich for his blood. He would take us with him where he went, and we'd go out to Po' Boy's Barber Shop out on Highway 80 there in Gladewater, and it would be one dollar, one dollar for a boy's haircut. And you know. If Mama wasn't the one taking us, we we had to go out there anyway. Uh, but Mama took us to Speedy's. But I twenty twenty five dollars for a boy's haircut. Oh my word! What has the world come to? I mean, I could have bought a a quarter of a sheet of plywood for that. I mean, come on. Anyhow, I paid it, wasn't happy, but the haircut looked good, so I guess I got to do what I got to do. I sure am glad I'm old and near about bald, because I couldn't afford a haircut. I, I just had to look like an old hippie thug, you know, if, it, if, uh, if I had to pay that much for my haircut, because I ain't done it. Have mercy. Y'all have a great day, and we will catch you on the next one.